Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Clark, and welcome to our Cavalier Football Weekly. We're talking with Walsh University head coach Ted Karras. And, Ted, tough on Saturday night. Another high-powered offensive team comes in at Ferris State. Yeah, tough Saturday night in Fawcett Stadium. i got to give a lot of credit to Ferris State and Coach and East and, and how they ha have their program rolling. I find them to be one of the top teams in the GLIAC, and it showed on Saturday night. Toughest part was losing a couple of players. Um, senior Corey Farkas and then Marshawn Ross, both serious injuries. Both serious. Uh, the good news is Corey Farkas may not be as bad as we thought, and I don't think it's season ending. Um, and then we also lost Nate Fillett and Cam Trudell for the second half. So we lost a lot of our linebackers, and it, and it hurt us. With a team like that, with what they run, you're losing guys that are key guys in making plays. Yeah, we, we did. But you know what? Football isn't always goes the way you want it to go, and neither does life. And some young guys stepped up. They necessarily didn't, maybe didn't play their best game, but they got some game experience. And, and that's important as we're building this program. This week back at home again, Ohio Dominican, boy, another frying pan team. Um, wow. Yeah. They just demoralized and just really ran Grand Valley off the field Saturday. They really did, and they did it in all three phases, offense, defense, and their special teams are probably the best in the nation. They scored 24 points off special teams. Their, their coverage teams are excellent. They're really uh, rolling right now. And they're a veteran team, and they do a lot of things well. Yes, they do, you know, and they're in year four of their program and being in Division Two. and Coach Conley has them going, and um, it's going to be a very tough matchup. Who will jump in for us with some of the guys that are out to take over some spots on defense? Well, Chan Shalosky got a lot of playing time. A freshman, Nick King, played a lot on Saturday. He's going to continue to play, and I, I think he's a really good ball player, and he's really getting seasoned this year. Um, also, Braley Blair is going to get some time and uh, a couple others. So there's going to be quite a few new faces this week. On the offensive end, Jeremy Whittleston had a great game. He shined Saturday night. Yes, he did. He, caught, he had two touchdowns, and he's really been a pleasure to have in our program. He's new to our program, and I thought him and Krishan Hogan both had decent games, both being freshmen. It looks like we settled the kicking game a little bit on Tim Carter's done a very good job punting the football. Yes. Michael Dudek, he seems to be settling in on the place kicking duties. Yeah, I think uh, relieving Tim of some of the kicking duties has helped him in his punting. And yeah, Michael Dudek, you know, he came and approached us in the summer, and I worked him out at on the practice field. And I told him today, who would have thunk that now you have the job? He said, Coach, I work hard, and he has, and he did, he's done a good job for us. That's good. This Saturday night, Coach, good luck. Thank you. It's Ohio Dominican. They're ranked number 23, 6 o'clock at Fawcett. Come on out and see the Cavaliers. I'm Jim Clark, and that's our Football Weekly.